welcome to yet another newly freshly baked episode of you might be wondering it's a new cookery show no 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 it's the same auto show the green signal so well coming straight to the point the car that i have for you guys today is the mahindra verito Now Mahindra has been ruling the sports utility vehicle segment in India for over a decade and now they felt that they need to make their presence felt in the sedan segment as well and that's how the Mahindra Verito was born but the results so or the response from the people enthusiasm in India was not as overwhelming as the company has expected so they have revamped the entire Mahindra Verito car so the new Mahindra Verito is boasting not one or two features but 23 new features so let's check out the car let's see what all new is there and whether it would appeal you Speaking of the changes, let's start from the exterior. Mahindra has blessed the new Verito with a chrome finished grille on the front bumper and uh, it's very appealing plus it looks like that of a Skoda. Now coming to the headlamps, there the revamped headlamps has their indicators positioned on top of the headlamps. Now this is really uh, rare actually why because in most of the cars that you see in this segment the uh, the indicators are below the headlamps. The front bumper as well as the fog lamps have been revamped and the new look is truly commendable. There is a new feature related to the front fascia. Mahindra Verito now has windshield wipers towards the right side of the front screen according to the preference of the driver. Only countable number of features of the previous version has been kept in the car as the company did not want its customers to doubt that the new version is indeed a successor of the previous one. Moving to the rear portion of the car, a few noticeable changes can be seen in the tail lights and additionally a fine amount of crease has been added for the betterment of the looks from the rear. Reverse lights have been gently put on both the tail lights. In the previous version of the car, the number plate was stuck to the bumper of the car whereas this time they have fitted it to the boot of the car. Not only the exteriors but the interiors of Verito are also commendable. It's dual tone in color. Almost all the uh, materials inside are of beige color which symbolizes luxury. Now, the first thing that you would notice is that now uh, the the buttons of the power windows are not on the central console like that it was in the earlier version of the Verito. It's on every door which add convenience. Not only the exteriors of the Verito are commendable but some goes for the interiors as well. Once we are inside the cabin, the first noticeable thing would be the buttons which are meant for power windows. In the previous version, the button used to be there on the central console but this time every door has its respective buttons for power windows which in turn makes it even more convenient to operate. Adding to this, the area of the central console can be used to accommodate something else instead of the power window buttons in the previous version which covered up unnecessary space. Almost all the components visible inside the cabin have been covered with beach which symbolizes luxury. Towards the right side of the steering wheel, the control functions of the central locking as well as the rear view mirrors are installed. There is a button given beneath the steering wheel which is meant to control height of the bonnet. Thus the interiors of the car are as good as the exteriors. Speaking about the engine and gearbox, Mahindra Verito is available in both petrol and diesel variants. 
What I have here is a diesel variant. It's the D6 variant. Now this is a common rail diesel engine. It's a 1461cc engine that uh, produces a maximum power of 65 bhp at 4000 rpm and a maximum torque of 160 nm at 2000 rpm. Now uh, the petrol variant uh, displaces 1390cc and it produces a maximum power of 75 bhp at 5500 rpm and a maximum torque of 110 nm at 3000 rpm. Now both these engines are mated with a 5 speed gearbox. The body of Verito is very stiff which means the crash survivability is of the maximum order. And then there is one more thing which I forgot to mention. The engine is actually the Renault engine that was seen before. When it comes to safety of the passengers, Mahindra Verito might not be that much promising owing to the fact that the company could provide only one airbag instead of two, but loopholes are meant to be there in every car. Coming to the tyres of the car, new Mahindra Verito is equipped with highly durable tyres which give a high level of traction control to the car altogether. In addition, the fog lamps given to the new version of the car give a brighter luminance which makes it easy for the driver to drive through dense fogs. Now it's time for the final verdict on Mahindra Verito. Mahindra Verito is actually a good car. It has got nice exterior. I mean the revamped exterior is really good. It has got really good interiors and the car is value for money. On the whole, Mahindra Verito where to regard. So I guess if you're gonna buy a car in this segment, you should definitely give Mahindra Verito a try and then you should decide for yourself. The base model of Verito is G2 D2, which comes with air conditioner, power steering, boot opener, remote operated fuel tank lid, sun visors, body colored bumpers, rear fog lamps, roof tails, anti-theft electronic safety system, tachometer, LCD screen on the instrument cluster. The new model is G4 D4 which in addition to the features of G2 D2 comes with power windows, internally adjustable outside rear view mirrors, central locking, body colored rear view mirrors and body colored door handles. The top of the line variant is D6 which in addition to the features of D4 comes with two disc music system with four speakers, rear defogger, a remote central locking, front fog lamps, alloy wheels, chrome finished front grille, ABS, driver side airbag and EBD.